Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Long story short, uh, I'm just going to redo this video. Um, you know, there was a video I did back then, you know, like how to reduce lag in FPS or so, or in Rigs of Rods or something like that. And at that time, I had the Bendicam limit, the 10 minute mark, so I couldn't really go into detail. But today, I will be able to go into detail into everything. So, yeah, this is basically, I, I think I'd rather make this video name this video how to make your rigs of rods work faster but then again yeah you know it's it's pretty much everyone's preference so yeah so yeah let's go ahead and go to uh settings and stuff so i recommend watching this video if you're having trouble with like lag or you know you have a bad pc like me and then there's just y you know you're just lagging badly and then you know you want to change some settings or stuff like that so first thing you want to do is go to settings and uh, first thing that you're going to be going into is render system. Now, keep in mind, when you change any of these settings, you're going to have to restart Rigs of Rods, which can be easily done by clicking the X and going to Exit Game. And then you're going to start it back up again, and then, you know, those settings will be applied. So, yeah, go ahead and keep that in mind, I guess. So, first thing I would like to cover is the rendering system. Now, a whole lot of people at, that I talked to did not have direct for some reason. Um, I keep in mind that on OpenGL, you're probably not going to be able to like, you know, um, load most of the stuff, like the maps and the bus and all that stuff, because nine out of 10 times they're, you know, they are, you know, compatible with direct 3d nine or direct 3d 11 or something like that. As long as it says direct, you should be good. So if you do not have that setting, um, I would recommend putting it on. If you do not have it at all, when you ever, you click it. Then I recommend you Google DirectX download. You should be able to click on the link from Microsoft themselves and go ahead and download it from there. Install it. Once you launch up Rigs of Rods again, it should be there. So, uh, yeah. Um, now, when it comes to Direct 9 EX thing right here, uh, I don't really see much of an FPS change here. I, 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 I clicked it on yes and no many times and. I don't really see any changes. You could probably experiment with that if you want to, but nine out of ten times you're probably not going to get that much of an SPS change. So, you know, yeah, just letting you know. Um, same thing with back buffer count. Don't really know what that is, honestly. And uh, yeah, I I wouldn't honestly I wouldn't mess with things that I don't know what it is. So I'll I'll just leave it there. FSAA is a big one now. I want you to take a look at this as if you're watching a YouTube video. This is 144p. This is like, what, 240, 360, you know, 720, 1080, and all that stuff. And I want you to think of it as if the higher I go, the more lag I'll get. Like, of course, the, the, the your, your game will look better, but, you know, the, the more lag I would have. So, 9 out of 10 times, if you're on a really bad PC like me, I always leave it on zero. Unless you're probably going to turn it up for, like, some screenshots or something. But I always recommend leaving it on zero. But, yeah. FSAA is literally, like, quality. <laughs> you know, as if, like, YouTube would have 144, 360, 480, 720, and all that. This That's literally this. But except that um, instead of it taking up more internet, it will take up more you know, lag and stuff. So like if you have it on eight quality, you probably on this PC that I have, you'll probably be you'll probably be lagging a lot more, you know, rather than if you had it on zero. So if you're say if you're trying to save on FPS and all that stuff, I I'd always keep it on zero. I wouldn't move it up unless if I'm on single player, you know, taking screenshots of a bus and, you know, posting it somewhere. But yeah, my I always leave it on zero. Now I don't think any of these settings really matter except for V-Sync and video mode. So this V-Sync has been a tricky one. I've talked to some people and they said that uh, their FPS, you know, is better with V-Sync off. And some other people said they have it on for better FPS. Honestly, it probably depends on your PC. So what I recommend is that I turn the V-Sync on and I go in simple test terrain and see how much FPS you average there. Then I would turn VSync off, you know, go back on simple test terrain and, you know, see how much FPS you average. Now, keep in mind that um, when you're turning it on and off, it, Rigs of Rods does require a restart. So, you go, so you're probably going to have to restart it if you're switching from either or. But um, 
yeah, that V Sync's a tricky one. But me personally, I would leave it on no. But yeah, honestly, it really depends on you. Video mode. This is basically the resolution that your rigs of rods displays as. Um, honestly, I just recommend 1280 over 720 because there was that one time I turned it up to freaking 1920 over 1080 and I was lagging like heck. And uh, but then again, you don't want to turn it all the way down to 640 over 400 because you know your 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 rigs of rods would be like a little box and. <laughs> unless you want to be driving in a little box then yeah so you want something not too big but not too small either unless you're if your pc is like a gaming pc then you can probably put it on you know 1920 over 1080 but um yeah if you have a trash pc like i do i would recommend putting it over you know somewhere around the area of 1280 80 over 720 maybe over 768 probably 1280 over 800 you know somewhere around that general area but per, you, you know just please refrain refrain from um you know turning it way too far up and then turning it way too far down just basically find something which is right for you so yeah now in the general panel um personally i wouldn't keep any settings on or off uh you know i i don't really mess around with these but the things that I usually keep on is, you know, these for my personal preference, the digital, the imperial, and the engine spawn running. You know, I don't think that really messes with FPS too much. But, um, yeah, if you have some of these on, like, truck collisions and stuff like that, that'll probably cause lag. I would turn those off. But, honestly, um, the only things I think you should have on is, like, probably async physics Well. Actually, then again, I don't know how this really works. Uh, I'll probably have to experiment with that. But, um, yeah, I would say just leave these off. And probably you're going to have to mess around with the async physics. I, I, I'm not too sure on that one. There's not really much to do here in general. So, yeah. Now, graphics is a whole different story. Now, basically, lights is, you know, self-explanatory. Just lights that you see in rigs of rods that uh you know um nine out of ten times i will put it on no light sources if headlights lag you like if other people have headlights on or they have their light you know lights and all that stuff and you're lagging a whole lot nine out of ten times you probably have like you know all vehicles main lights on or you probably have only current vehicle main lights on you know something like that then i will put it on no light sources you're still you'll don't get me wrong you will still see their lights and stuff but it doesn't lag you as much you know at least in my personal you know um experiment so you know i would keep it on no light sources but if that's even lagging you then i i would put none on as the very last resort that means you won't be able to see any type of lighting not even your turn signals not brakes not even your warning lights just literal nothing you can see when your stop sign is out and your doors open and stuff like that but yeah, I, I, I would only put that on as a last resort. So if you're trying to go like basically FPS friendly, but you're still able to see the lights, I would put it on, leave it as no light sources. Shadows cause a whole lot of lag in my personal opinion. Like I remember I was in, I, I tested this. I was in, um I was on Rockton and I would usually be averaging around 70, 80 FPS with my usual settings. I turn on shadows and that thing dropped to an instant 15. So Shadows does take up quite a lot. Um, you know, at least if you have a bad PC like mine. So honestly, if you have it on PSSM and, you know, shadow optimizations and stuff like that, honestly, I would d put it on just on disabled because, it, yeah, it, it, it's, it's just going to laggy a lot. If you want to at least have some shadows on, I'll put it on PSSM and probably put the shadow quality on maybe zero, maybe one. I wouldn't put it on two or three because that's extra, you know, graphic-y. And the more graphics that you have, the more lag you're going to have. But personal preference is just, you know, zero, one. And make sure that you have shadow optimizations on so it can optimize the shadows so you can have a little bit better FPS. But honestly... I, I would just leave it on disabled the, like this unless if you're trying to catch some screenshots or something I just see shadows as pointless or you, you, you get what I mean it is it's just 
no, that, that thing just takes off a whole lot of your FPS and you're just going to be lagging and all that stuff. So, yeah, I, I would just leave it on disabled. But if you want to have at least something, just go on PSSM, keep shadow optimizations on and keep the shadow quality low. So, yeah, let's go back on disabled. So, Sky GFX. Now, this doesn't really affect me like a lot when it comes to stand, Sandstorm and Kalem. But I remember putting it on Sky X and I don't know what happened to my FPS, honestly. <laughs> it just, whoo. So honestly, I would rather keep it on Sandstorm for the most FPS, but if you want to keep it on Kalem, you know, that's fine with me. Honestly, I just seen like a 5 to 10 FPS decrease from there. So it, it's not really too much of a dis difference, but Sky X is something else. So I just rather keep it on Sandstorm or Kalem, but honestly, if you were lagging badly, I, I just keep it on Sandstorm just to make sure. Sight range also affects your FPS a lot, and I mean a lot. Now, my personal preference is keeping it all the way down in the 100 to maybe the 300 range. So you're probably not looking at some building that's over here, you know, just like all the way over here on the other side of the map and you're getting lag from that. No, it's just I'd rather keep it at a distance to where... I'm able to see what's, you know, well in front of me, but then again, I'm not seeing all the way at the other side of the map and looking at those objects and getting a whole lot of lag. So if it was up to me, my personal preference would be probably, you know, somewhere around the 300 area. Maybe if you're lagging, try to bring it up to 200 or the 100 area. The least I go is 149. Uh, Yeah, I wouldn't go other... Uh, uh, but I, I wouldn't go under 149 because you're going to see a whole lot of fog. But yeah, my personal preference is just anything from 149 to around 300. Now, 400 is a little bit, you know, up there, but, you know, anything in between. So, uh, yeah, just not long story short, just try to keep your sight range uh, just low, just really, really low, but not too low to the point where you can't really like determine what's like 50 feet in front of you or 500 feet i don't know just try not to keep it up too much texture filtering and eh, i don't think it really affects fps much except if you're using uh, unless if the bus is like 4k 3k textures something like that then you probably have to mess around with this now do not be tricked because honestly by linear is much more fps friendly than none now the reason why I say that is that if you put it on bilinear filtering, it'll at least filter some stuff out for you, you know, um, so, you know, textures aren't really too big for you. But if you put it on none, it's not going to filter out anything at all. It's just going to, like, leave you with a whole lot of, like, you know, oh, my God, it'll be low quality. But at the same time, it'll be much more laggier than having it on bilinear. So it, it's kind of a spectrum thing here. So I would say this this causes lag, kind of. That causes lag, kind of. But the bilinear option is the best, you know, option for you. Of course, the textures are going to look kind of off because you're lowering it. But, you know, it's better than nothing. You get what I mean? So honestly, I'd leave it on bilinear. I would never put it on none or trilinear. But I, I'd just leave it on, you know, bilinear. Unless if you want some detail, then put it on anisotropic with a value of 4. So yeah, that's about it. Vegetation density. density. Honestly, I've been, messing, I, I've been messing. I've been messing around with this. And I haven't seen any change at all. In my personal opinion, all I've gotten was just more lag. So honestly, I just keep it on none. You know, just... Yeah, leave that be. Wait, why is my texture filtering on none? I, I, I just put that on bilinear. But yeah. Water GFX. Do not put this on none. Because if you put it on none, it's going to... um the, the next time you go back in Rigs of Rods, it's going to put you on like reflection and refraction. I think it's speed. But um speed optimized. But still, it's going to be like laggy for you. My best option or my best uh, word of advice is to put it on basic. You know, uh, unless you want to give it at least some reflection, then you put it on reflection. But just just leave it on base, um, basic. 
FPS limit always leave this on zero in my personal opinion. Like even if you turn this up to 240, uh, you can be on a laggy map and I, I can tell you from there it's not going to give you 240 FPS. It, it's going to give you much less. So always keep this on zero. So enable particle GFX. I'd leave this off. Um, y you know, I don't really see the need for particles unless you're doing a smoke fire alarm role play. At, or you're trying to make sure that people see the skid, like not skid marks, but you know the dust when you're drifting or something like that. But literally, part, uh, anything other than that, particles are just a waste of time. I wouldn't leave that on. Skid marks, same thing. You know, I it's just not necessary. Real time reflections. Uh, basically, real time reflections is the reflective stuff. Like if you ever look at the mirrors on the photon buses. Or basically, you know, like on Jason CE, like basically any bus in general that has mirrors, but they're not actually working like that, that's real-time reflections. So you can turn the real-time reflection up update on, you know, you know, up. So it does kind of work like mirrors. But honestly, if you're trying to keep it FPS friendly, always leave it on zero. But at least keep this on so you can have some sort of reflection. But if those reflections are lagging you, I just keep it off. So honestly, in my so long story short, just keep it off or just put it on with a update rate of zero. And I don't think any of these other things matter. I, I haven't really. Oh, yeah. Material shaders. Shaders can kind of lag you a lot. So I would keep them off, but unless if you're trying to experiment with them in your free time or something like that, or, you know, put it on to where it looks good at a little bit, then yeah, I just keep it off. Uh, yeah, I don't really see anything else here. You know, I, I was looking through the other settings and I didn't really see anything else to, you know, go over. So, uh, yeah, keep it also a heads up. Uh, those of you who make or modify stuff. I'd say the more props or the more flares that you have, the laggier it'll be. So my best word of advice is to try and keep it relatively low. Like if you have to mix a whole lot of meshes together just to make like one body thing, then go ahead and do that. But just try to keep your mesh count, your flare count, and you know, just a whole, you know, just basically that to a low level, especially with flare bindings as well. So, you know, that way you're not causing too much lag. But yeah, um, just keep in mind, the more meshes that you have in a truck file or the more flares you have in a truck file and stuff like that, the more laggy it's going to be to everybody else. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. And once again, thanks everyone for watching. You know, I hope this really has helped everybody out. And um, yeah, I don't think I really have anything to say anymore. So. Yeah, just go ahead and stay tuned if you want to. You know, there uh, for sure there may be another video coming up in this week or next week. And uh, yeah, so I will see you guys later then. Peace.